Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at this month's Smart Art Box, and you can find it at smartartbox.com. They're our sponsor today, and um, in this box, the September box, uh, we've got all kinds of goodies. So at first you get a brochure, and that kind of tells you a little bit about the different products that are in the kit. They do a little um, uh, kind of synopsis of each media. They talk about the project, which is marbleizing, and then on the back there's a step-by-step -step, um, project for you to do. It shows you basically how to use the um, supplies in this kit to do water marbleizing. And it is kind of a process, so that's what we're going to do in the video today because I think it can be kind of confusing with all the different bits and pieces you have here in the box. This kit came with three different colors of Jacquard Marbleizing ink, and there is a blue, black, and purple. And it also came with a clear bottle, and that is a synthetic ox gall, and that is to help the um, ink move a lot more and a lot quicker on the surface of the water. There's also a couple of packets of powder. One is alum, which is what you treat your paper with to keep your colors bright and crisp. And the other one is a cellulose, um, kind of a gel-like powder. It basically turns your water a little thicker, so essentially the ink should stay on top of the water instead of sinking down. It also came with some pens. We have some elegant writers, which I didn't actually um, plan on using in this project, but they are wonderful to have, and a silver gel pen that you can use to accent your, uh, your creations. So without further ado, let's get started because this is a little bit of a lengthy process. I started off by mixing the alum and some water in a plastic tub, and then you just need to stir it up. A whisk would work really well for dissolving this, and it does take a couple minutes to get everything all dissolved in. Once the powder is all dissolved, you want to put your papers in one at a time so that they get a chance to get completely coated with the alum water mixture. I'm starting off with the two sheets of fabric-y like paper that came in my Smart Art kit, and I also decided I wanted to do a couple small pieces of cardstock and a couple tags. That way I could kind of see how this kit worked on paper you might already have at home. So just make sure you put in each of these papers one at a time so they can get completely saturated. Now you need to let them soak for, you know, about half an hour. Honestly, I forgot got about my paper soaking and it stayed in there overnight. So apparently it doesn't hurt if you end up letting them soak a little bit long. So now we need to prepare the water for our marbling. So we're adding a heaping teaspoon of the um, methyl cellulose to a uh, four cup measure of water. Actually, we're gonna end up putting another four cups in there because it's one heaping tablespoon to a half gallon of water. And we're gonna whisk it up really well. Um, I just measured it in two parts because I didn't have a half, of ga half gallon measure. Make sure you really uh, mix that methocell with the water really well so that you'll get a uniform consistency of the uh, water. You want it to be thicker than the ink that you're going to put down on top. If there's any bubbles on the surface of the water, you're going to want to skim them off with a scrap of paper or a paper towel. I had stepped away from my um, marbleizing tray for a while and I let all the bubbles settle out, but I think honestly that the um, methocell had kind of sunk to the bottom because I noticed my ink is kind of sinking in two and I was kind of a little concerned at this point, but I decided to just keep on going and uh, because I haven't done this quite a technique like this before, I decided to keep with it and see what happens. I decided to try the ox gall, which they recommend mixing in with the inks. Um, I figured maybe that would help it float or move or something um, because I was just worried that I wasn't seeing so much ink on the surface and it was kind of intermixing under the water surface a bit. And uh, so that's what this is, the ox gall mixed with the ink. And then I'm just pouring that uh, along the surface and it is helping things whoosh around a little bit. Uh, things are still sinking in the water, so I think really more of the methyl cell um, is better in the water to keep all the ink up to the top. Now I'm adding in a little of the purple ink that came in the kit and I was just not feeling confident that I had enough ink there so I went ahead and added more black, more blue, and more purple. I knew that if I didn't have uh, ink on the surface of the water then I wasn't going to get a very good marbled image. So now I grabbed a needle tool and I started to drag some lines through the, the, uh, the bin here and I could feel on the bottom of the pan that the uh, methocell had kind of gelled up on the bottom so that's why I wasn't getting my ink to all stay on the top. Uh, so I decided that I would see if I could get a marbled print on this and uh, then I would go on from there. So when you put your paper in you want to kind of bend it in the middle to make sure it contacts and then let the sides go down. Um, you can let the 
sit in the water for a while. Um, they recommend you sitting for a couple minutes to let it fully get the ink, but um, I found even just dunking it in there was suitable for this. And we got a really pretty print there. And um, I have to tell you, it did not shift, so that was really good. I went a little off script here and uh, decided to try whisking in that gel I could feel at the bottom of my pan in with the rest of the liquid. So hopefully it would keep my ink on the top of the water from now on. And um, I just kind of tried to mix it up as best I could, but that gel was pretty so pretty um, chunky down at the bottom. I'm not sure what I did wrong. Maybe uh, I needed more gel. Maybe I needed to not let it sit so long before I started marbleizing. I'm not sure, but I tried to mix it in anyway. And I just pulled the bubbles off the top of the scrap of paper. And that actually did help. I um, repeated the process and you can see the ink is definitely staying on top of the uh, water. And then I decided to marbleize that piece of cardstock that I had treated and um, it was so much better. So my advice would be when you're doing this, make sure you whisk it and then you start your marbleizing. Don't let it sit for too long. And that was just cardstock that I had soaked in the alum and I got a really nice impression on that as well. I also wanted to try this on gift tags that I had treated in the alum and they came out great. I think the big key whenever you're marbleizing is to soak your stuff in the alum and water mixture. It does seem to make your marbleizing really pop on whether, whatever paper you're using. Another thing that was new to me in this marbleizing process was rinsing it after you were done. So I took the um, papers to the sink, I rinsed it under a gentle stream of water and let it dry. And here you can see the finished uh, products. Now the kit comes with calligraphy pens and also a um, silver metallic gel pen. So um, I thought I might add some accents to one of the darker papers because I know silver, like metallics don't really show up that well on um, really light colors, but I didn't find it to really show up that well with all of these intricate little patterns that had come across here. Now you'll notice there are some white streaks on this paper and I'll tell you why that happened. Because when I went to hang the alum coated paper to dry, I only had a wire rack to drape it over. So those were where it was draped over the wire pieces. I highly recommend you put up a clothesline and you clip it with a couple of clothespins or binder clips. That way you won't end up with those streaks in the middle of your paper. And that pretty much does it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have the Smart Art Box, let me know what you think. Did you do this month's project and were you successful? Um, marbleizing is not something I've done a lot of. I think all the different little steps, I tend to be forgetful and I'll forget that I have paper soaking or that I have just whisked up some uh, cellulose or, you know, all those different little steps are where I tend to get uh, distracted and caught up. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you give it a try. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, if you want to get your very own smart art box delivered to you every month follow the link in the video description or visit smartartbox.com they ship to many countries worldwide and uh, they're a lot of fun thanks for watching until next time happy crafting